vessels. And a bit of luck for Sri Lanka. Now they're riding their luck today. Oh, it was a no ball too. No ball because it was too high. Hatteras Singer is caught by vessels. So the first wicket's been taken. At last, Donald's got one on line. And Hatteras Singer is out. The first Sri Lankan is out. Hatteras Singer caught by vessels. Bold Donald for five. It's 11 for no wicket. 11 for one. Yes, we'll see here that uh, stayed on the crease line look and just uh, just followed it, didn't he? Uh, neither back nor forward. Orthodox catch the first slip, even though it was going down. But uh, certainly the breakthrough that uh, South Africa would have been looking for after such an unusual start with so many wides and no balls being bowled. So bad luck for Sri Lanka. Chandika Hatterasinger is out. Court Vessels bowled Donald five. And in the second over, Sri Lanka are 11 for one. It's a better ball and just bouncing short of Richardson. Donald was pretty interested in that. Do you think there was a nick there? No, I think it might have come off the shoulder here. If we look at the replay, we'll see that, uh, yeah, just oh, above the, the forearm up. there. Mm. That's why there was no carry on it. The body slowed it down. Yes, we're going to see here, Peter, that uh, Guru Singer was guilty of not getting forward on here. Still shuffling around the crease line, ball pitched in line, hit him just below the knee roll, came forward after the ball struck him, but he actually played that ball right on the crease line. Guru Singer out for Nort, LBW to Donald, it's 12 for 2 in the fourth over. is a big blow. Bowl for seven, 35 for the loss of three. Well, this is one of the inconsistencies and uncertainties of cricket, really. A wide the ball before that one, a swinging inducker, a Yorker, Aravinda beaten for pace. Huge wicket. Is Donald delighted or what? So that gives South Africa a huge advantage now, and they're right back into this match. In the 10th over, 35 for three. appeal turned down by Steve Woodward. I had the feeling that Donald joined in a bit later there. So Mahanama gets the single that he needs for his 50 and now he's got three 50s in the World Cup and his 12th 50 for Sri Lanka in one day internationals. He is 50. Sri Lanka are 106 for four. Things around for Sri Lanka. Whether it'll win the game, we'll find out in the next three and a bit overs. Oh, wide. Wide calls. Umpire Steve Woodward, the man from Wellington, or Lower Hutt, I should say. He leaves the scorer in no doubt. Alan Donald. He doesn't seem impressed, but it's in the book. last over could take a wee while I think Kepler Vessels and Alan Donald will be very uh, meticulous about exactly where all the fieldsmen are mm. and uh, Donald's going to work out where he's going to bowl and the other interesting thing is if we get a tie and there's, there's a tie is a tie there's a point each we don't worry about count backs of who did what earlier in the game okay here we go the start of the 50th over 
Nothing oh, coming in. Surely there is a run out. Kelfer J gives run out. And that is the tension creeping through. And South Africa have another wicket. Well, panic. Kelfer J looking for a Tonga said, no, I'm not having anything to do with that. In fact, he sent him back very wisely. Turned his back on him. That's always a good way of getting rid of them. And bingo, he's out. So Kelper J comes back. And he's gone for five. 189 for seven. So still seven runs left. Only five balls to be bowled now. It's coming down to uh, Ranatonga more and more, isn't it? Because he's going to have to hit a boundary soon. Can't really afford to let the new man on strike with Donald the bowler. And that's tough going for Ranatonga. But maybe he's equal to the occasion. Who knows? We're going to find out in a moment or so. Alan Donald signalling to his man way down at third man. Five balls left. Seven runs required. Ramatonga. He's lifted it away nicely to the wide open spaces. It should be four runs and it will be four runs. Oh, well played, Ranatonga. Marvellous shot. He picks that one up and hits it to the vacant mid-wicket boundary. There's no one with him, Kiwi. The nearest man is behind square. And he played that very well indeed. Super shot. Well, what does he do now, Kepler Vessels? Donald to Ranatonga. He's got a hit, and he doesn't hit. Well, the only thing is that Ranatonga's off strike, off the strike. And how will Ramanayaka cope with Donald? He went out to the fieldsman. He had to throw the stumps down. So three balls remain. Two runs. And Kepler Vessels. He's marshalling the troops. What does he do? Does he bring men in? Does he keep defending the boundary? Interesting. Got to bring them in, doesn't he, I think? For the yeah. new batsman? Well, yeah. I don't know that he needs the deep men, down it? But let's have a look at that throw before we go into that. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't miss by much. <laughs> Donald to Ramanayaka. Oh, full toss. What a good ball. He couldn't get it away. Straight full toss, very difficult. Of course, it's his first ball. A speedster like Donald, very straight, and that's the key. It's not so much the length in terms of the... But uh, that was well bowled. Two from two. Marvellous game of cricket here at the Basin Reserve. Donald against Ramanayaka. He's got him away. That's the win for Sri Lanka. Ramanayaka comes back for the second run. They bowled very well this morning. They restricted South Africa. And they came out. They made heavy weather in the early stages of their innings. But Ranatunga turned it round. And in the end, Sri Lanka got through in a real nail-biter here at the Basin Reserve. Thrilling stuff. A marvellous effort by Sri Lanka winning the match with the second to last ball of the 50th and final over 198 for seven and a man of the match performance there from Arjuna Ranatunga, 64 not out. The winning runs hit by Champaka Ramanayaka coming in at number nine. A win to Sri Lanka over South Africa by three wickets. Looking at the South African bowling, well, Alan Donald made those early breakthroughs, but in the end couldn't come back and take any more wickets in his second and third spell. He got three wickets, though, a wicket each for McMillan, also for Omar Henry, the spin bowler, and one for Peter Kirsten.